Hey guys, just giving you a little bit of a tournament update going on here. It's now uh, Sunday, which is day two of the Dallas Regionals. I did take my Ho-Oh uh, Salazzle build. I did change up a few cards. Uh, right there, about a few weeks there before uh, Dallas Regionals, uh, Whale Lord come out. Whale Lord, Magic Carp and Whale Lord tag team came out in a box. And so it was legal this weekend for Expanded and uh, in the tournament. So there was a lot of that running around. I made some adjust adjustments to try to uh, try to help with that just a little bit. Uh, not much. I, I have no way of countering that really. But um, there's some other things I took out, and I expected to run into um, Zorark Toad a lot, and I actually did run into Zorark twice, but Toad only hit it once. So I was pretty lucky there, and he never even got that out, and never even got to got to use it. He never got the item lock on me. So I was pretty lucky there. If I had known the, all the kind of different decks I was going to be chasing, or that was going to be uh, running around out there, I would have definitely teched in a lot more items than what I did. I still did really well. I wound up going 4-2-2. Two, two, four wins, two losses, and two ties. And round eight, I was up against a uh, toolbox. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's a Rotom deck is what it is. And you put all the tools, if you get nine tools in the discard, you don't have to uh, attach energies. All your all your attacks are free, and um, I wound up tying against him in round eight, which put me out of the running for day two. After that, I just I dropped. I didn't. It was already eight o'clock. Um, I've been there since seven thirty, and I wasn't going to make it into day two, so I just dropped out and you know make it a little bit easier on other people. You know, I don't want to run anybody else's chances of getting there if that's what it is. A lot of people were surprised by Ho Oh. They uh, I, I would uh, key all the way straight onto it, and they would have no idea how to deal with that 180 damage and those four energies. No one was playing it. I seen one person playing Ho Oh Blaziken, a deck list I think I profiled on here. Not sure. I know I I know I put it in my Instagram, but uh, they didn't they didn't do as well. I don't think they did as well as I did. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. I did massive massively amounts better than I did the first time I went, which was which was 2018. I had just started playing then. Anyway, I went 4-2-2, and two, two, and so I'm happy with that record. Hoping that 2019 will be even better, be even able to go further. Maybe it'll be even standard, that way I don't have to deal with Expanded again, because I do not like Expanded. Uh, the swag was the swag bags they gave us was pretty cool. They gave us this uh, Professor M's Lecture, which was absolutely amazing. This card right here is a very, very playable card, and with it being um, a promo like that, it's going to be worth quite a bit. I'm not sure exactly how much. Uh, we get a uh, Ultra Pro sleeves. Looks like uh, you know Ultra Balls. So those are pretty cool. And they gave us this uh, deck box here, which uh, small night deck box. This is pretty cool. I've been wanting a new deck box, and this is just a great way to. It's, it's pretty cool. So I'm very happy about that. I want to go ahead and give out my deck list. Let's put these off over to the side. I want to go ahead and give out my deck list because I am. Um, I did change up a few things from the last video of the one I was going to make, or the one I made, and I said I was going to take this, and then things changed at the end, so I did make a new deck list. And, um, you know, starting out, of course, is these 4 ho -oh, or 3 ho -oh, I'm sorry, for that attack, hitting off, uh, done great. I'll just kind of lay them out here, you all already know what's happening here. 3 tap -lay -lay. Uh We got the Salandit and the Salazzle. This card come in so clutch against Lost March. If you're ever against Lost March, this card right here is just the way to go. It forces them to have lots of. It forces them to have a lot of Pokemon in the lost zone while I'm swinging turn two because of the you know it's just two energy attachments and then you can evolve on second turn and it it, it forces them to have a lot of energy in or a lot of uh, Pokemon in the lost zone right off the bat so it's really great. Um, then we got the Turtonator GX for that. Uh, I use Bright Flame a lot. I would put down Ho Oh Kiawe onto it. But before I did that, I would bench Turtonator, attach the energy, max elixir, and then all I had to do was attach next turn. And uh, it was great for knocking out those turbo deck um, turbo deck Rayquazas. Those were, that thing was that was a great game. It was Turbo Ray, and it was I uh, I went all out. Sorry about that glare, guys. I'm not sure how to get rid of that. I went let's turn my turn my light just a little bit. There we go. I went all out on that Turbo Ray and uh, Kiawe. But to do that, I had to discard everything in my hand. And then on his turn, which was turn two, I went turn. I was first. 
he went turn he went he went second and he discarded half of his deck attached a lot of energies and then I top decked a Guzma and just knocked out his Rayquaza that had like four energies attached to it and, and from there he just couldn't keep up um, so it, it's great uh, next is a Victini Prism Star that card honestly I haven't been all that impressed by it until I played in this regionals and that card is great you key all the way onto Ho-Oh slap him up front take that Victini put it on the bench attach an energy to it and then if they knock out that Ho-Oh you're already doing 80 damage and and there's um, with Steam Up and uh, Heat Factory Prism Star and Lysander and Ultra Ball, of course, but uh, those other ways, there's just so many, so many, so many uh, energies in the discard. I actually misplayed really bad. I Guzman up a Trubbish, I think it was, and knocked it out with a Victini Prism Star, not realizing that I had more energies. There was two energies at the very bottom of the deck that I forgot was in there. And I could have actually knocked out his Shaman EX and gotten two prizes instead of one. I think it lost me that game. I won the round, but it lost me that game. But um, Victini have just really come in. And then one Orin Guru. And that's for that instructability. And it's it's super awesome. You can't... If you can get that out turn one also, you just can't go wrong with that. All that all that draw, that extra draw. Especially if you key all the way down to zero hands. Zero cards in hands, which I'm very fond of doing not on purpose but that's just the way it turns out and so that just gets you right back out of it uh, next we have the three uh, four Cynthia for our supporter line uh, you know shuffle in your hand draw six can't go wrong there uh, Kiawe three or three Kiawe getting those energies out turn one the three Professor Sycamore three Guzma and then I have up next the most worthless card in the whole thing. Actually, I'll do it last. We'll just put up this this Tate Liza. This Tate and Liza was great. Being able to switch, that, that that was a great card. Searched it out with uh, Tapu Lele and then just switched, and it was like it come out of nowhere on on on. I think it was a Buzzwall deck I was against that time. And then the most worthless card in this whole deck, and I will take it out, and I will never play it again. Is Lost Ender Prism Star. I thought this card would be great. You know, it lets me put a Pokemon. It lets me put a card from their discard into the lost zone for each fire Pokemon on my on my in my field on my field on my side of the field and I thought it would be great and it just I used it once and honestly I didn't have to I used it because it was there and I didn't need to play a draw supporter so I I will take that out and I'll probably never play it again because I just I had no need for it next is the items for Ultra Ball of course always for Ultra Ball and just about any, any deck uh, the three nest ball. This part of it's just about the same as my uh, previous video. Three max elixir. Two floatstone. Two choice fan. One computer search. That that card is so broken. One mysterious treasure. One field blower. Honestly, you can play two of these and in standard right now, and it'd be great. One Rescue Stretcher and one Heat Factory Prism Star. Um, going in now and seeing what the meta's like after Whale Lord, Magikarp and Whale Lord came in and shook it all up, I would definitely drop something. I would drop the Lysander for sure and add in another Max Elixir. Um, I might would drop the Mysterious Treasure and add in maybe another Choice Band or another Float Stone, maybe another Stadium uh, Field Blower. Those are all good. I would definitely drop the Last Ender for the Max Elixir. I would also consider dropping a Guzma and the Tate and Eliza for Versus Seekers because I did not go up against Item Lock at all. The entire the entire eight rounds I played, I didn't go up against it at all. And there's just so many other ways. I mean, my deck did great, but there was times when I just needed a Versus Seeker to win. Or, I had to dig and dig and dig, and if I just had a Versus Seeker, it would have been over. So, I definitely would change that now, but going into it, I just assumed, because the other regionals were this way, that it would be nothing but item lock everywhere, and that I would be shut out of the game for most of the time. And, and that's the way it was for some people. I mean, I, I've only come against two Zorark builds, so... I was lucky in that regard, but Well Lord Magikarp was everywhere with Archie's Archie's Ace in the Hole, I think it is, 
And uh, I was lucky it didn't come up against that or it would have stomped all over my deck. But um, I would definitely, looking back now, I wish, I wish I'd have changed it, of course. Uh, next we have the energies. It's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Can't go wrong with that number. I never ran out of energies, and I always was able... Max Elixir whiffed a few times, but for the most part, I was able to find them. If you can uh, Victini Prism Star, use its attack, shuffle all those energies back into the deck, and then hit all three of your Max Elixirs, you're almost guaranteed to hit them. It's super good. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the deck. I just wanted to give you an update on how I did. And uh, I thought it was awesome, and... I'm really happy with myself. I did. My goal was to do better than I did last year, and that's what I've done. So I feel I feel better about it. Um, I didn't win. I didn't come in in the t day two. I, I thought I was going to have a chance there. I had three more matches to play, and I got. I was super nervous, and then I went into round round seven, and uh, I won. No, I tied round seven against the Zorark. Um, it was Zorark. I guess it's called Exodia. Anyway, he just didn't hit it off. I won game one, he won game two, and in game three, we just we fought and fought and fought. And mainly it was me attaching energies and then passing or hitting for what I could, and him digging through most of his deck for like 10 minutes while I just sat there and twiddled my thumbs. There was no real, no real play on my side compared to his. But, um,. Round seven, I tied, and then round eight, I went up against that Rotom deck and tied up against it, and that just knocked me out of the running. But it was a lot of fun, and I got to meet some interesting people. Y'all follow me, follow me on uh, Instagram. I got some pictures I'm going to be putting up of the uh, event and all that, and I posted all day that day. I uh, put up as many videos as I could. I wanted to take a, uh, I wanted to take a video, you know, do a documentary of the whole time I was there, but the rounds just went so fast, and I didn't have time. So, but on my Instagram, there's, uh, I got some videos up and, you know, a little bit of deck updates and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, this is my, uh, this is the deck list that got me a 4-2-2 record. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and uh, just keep it, keep it friendly. And, uh, we'll see you on the next one.